Okay, we're going to move on to a session that we call Show and Tell. How to display, oh, beg your pardon, how to deploy YOLO to almost anything simpler and faster. Yes, please. So today we've got the honor of hearing from a true expert in the realm of Edge AI, Lakshantha. Uh, who uh, Dis Ayanake, who is the application engineer at Seed. Uh, he has got a keen eye on the latest AI trends and is dedicated to providing the developer community with practical embedded AI applications. So through meticulous step-by-step -step tutorials on NVIDIA Jetson, Lakshantha empowers developers to harness the full potential of this cutting edge technology. Additionally, he conducts technical workshops and plays a pivotal role in troubleshooting technical challenges faced by the community. So thank you very much for that, sir. In today's sessions, Lakshantha will guide us through the intricacies of, of deploying state of the art models on embedded devices. So this includes a streamlined approach to implementing models like YOLO V8 and addressing challenges and limitations inherent in edge GPU devices such as the NVIDIA Jetson. So my dear friends, prepare to gain invaluable insights into optimizing edge performance for video analytics applications. Lakshantha, the stage is yours. Thank you. Big round of applause for Lakshantha. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Lakshantha and I'm a senior application engineer uh, focusing on the NVIDIA Jetson product line at Seed Studio. So in this uh, talk, I will mainly talk about how to deploy uh, YOLO mod models to almost anything uh, in a very simple and very fast way. So talking about Seed Studio, so we are the leading uh, AIoT innovator uh, platform for more than 14 years, and we have uh, one-stop services from prototype uh, to solutions. So we mainly focus on uh, censoring, networking, and edge devices, and also the cloud, which uh, consists of an advanced perce perception system. So we serve global, uh, so we serve millions of global uh, developers and ISVs, and also SIs, because uh, we want to partner with these uh, ISVs and SIs to bring uh, complete solutions to the market. And we also uh, closely work with uh, silicon vendors, uh, developers, and communities and the industries to bring uh, different solutions together. Uh, we mainly headquarters, uh, our headquarters is based in Shenzhen, and we also have offices in Germany, the US, and also Japan. So uh, first of all, I would like to uh, mention that uh, I had a webinar with Glenn together a couple of months back. And we mainly talked about the YOLO V8 uh, deployment on the uh, embedded Jetson, NVIDIA Jetson platform. So this uh, particular uh, talk will be more of kind of like an extension to that, where we will focus more on what we have done, like what we have done more on uh, YOLO V8 for the embedded uh, devices. Because uh, we always want to make uh, the technology accessible to everyone. So that's, that's our concern. So, we always try to bring the uh, SOTA models uh, in the most efficient way to the edge devices. So talking about the evolution of edge devices, uh, so as you can see, uh, we have the high-end server GPU, which is uh, like the NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA A100. Uh, so these kind of big platforms. So normally, if you want, want to run uh, AI at the edge, such as the NVIDIA Jetson platform, or maybe uh, a small MCU such as Xiao ESP32, ESP32 S3 Sense. Uh, what the problem is, uh, there's hardware constraints, which would uh, decrease the performance of the inference. But uh, now we have optimized models, especially uh, to run on these uh, low power devices, uh, where you can get a decent inference performance on these uh, tiny devices as well. And that is what I will mainly focus on in, in this talk. So uh, talking about the AGI development, so it is not uh, as easy as it is because you, there are so many uh, things to consider. So for example, uh, there are AI models which are hard to adapt to different uh, target platforms. So for different, uh, for example, the SBC platform and the MCU platform uh, would want to have different uh, uh, models uh, to be able to run in a better inference way. 
and also when scaling the AI models, uh, you, we want to find a way uh, to make the most out of the data sets that you have to deploy to a custom uh, AI solutions. And also uh, there's lack of ready to use uh, these kind of carrier boards and uh, full systems because we want to focus on full systems where the carrier boards and the sensors and different other connectivities are all embedded into one uh, solution. And also we need to focus about the thermal, uh, like the heat dissipation and the mechanical design and also these resources uh, when uh, designing uh, the edge AI devices. And also the comprehensive SDKs and the vertical reference app uh, with the full uh, pipeline acceleration. And uh, finally, the extensive uh, ecosystem support is also important uh, when it comes to the edge AI development. So that one uh, also you need to consider. So, uh, when, so now I will move to the YOLO V8 uh, running on the Edge GPU. So Edge GPU such as the NVIDIA Jetson platform. So what are the difficulties that we face when uh, deploying at the Edge? So basically uh, at first, uh, because some customers uh, face the difficulty of flashing the operating system to the device with necessary components for computer vision. And also the second question, the second problem would be when uh, deploying these SODA models, such as YOLO V8 to these edge devices, uh, you, you will have to uh, deal with different dependencies, packages, so that uh, the models will perform uh, in the right way with no like bugs or errors. So that is one difficulty, another difficulty. And also when it comes to limitation, as I mentioned before, there's the hardware constraint uh, limitation on the device for inference performance and also when it comes to multi-stream performance on the device for the edge, edge device, uh, sometimes RAM could be uh, a problem because uh, the RAM can really, uh, because running multi-streams can really affect on the RAM. So we will mainly talk focus on how we can solve these difficulties and limitations uh, in a few minutes. So, so now about the solutions. So first of all, to solve the uh, difficulty of flashing the OS, what uh, we at Seed, uh, our solution is to pre-install the OS to the Jetson device at factory so that when you buy the device uh, from the factory, you will have a ready to go device with everything installed. And also uh, for the setting up the environment, we have uh, also a solution that is the one line deploy of uh, the YOLO V8 uh, to in uh, improve the uh, user experience. So you just have to write one line and it will take care of all the dependencies and uh, the packages for installation. And also we have advanced usage wiki uh, and detailed wiki to explain uh, how to further expand uh, your projects. And I will also talk about TensRT to improve inference performance and also uh, using DeepStream to improve multi-stream performance. So talking about the pre-install of Jetson device at factory. So normally Jetson device comes with the Jetpack uh, OS. So the Jetpack OS consists of different tools uh, needed for computer vision applications. Uh, such as uh, uh, DeepStream, Riva, ROS for robotics, oh yeah, ROS for robotics, Riva for speech AI, and DeepStream for vision AI applications. And also you have different libraries, so all compact in one uh, uh, system, which is the Jetpack that we install, so that uh, this will take care of all the necessary tools to run uh, these uh, AI pipelines. And also for the one-line deploy, so this is what we have been focusing on. Uh, so uh, because in... Uh, in the past few months, we have been uh, putting a lot of effort into uh, uh, making YOLO V8 a much better experience on the NVIDIA Jetson Edge platform. So to make the experience better, we have made this one-line deployment. So you can try it out on your device today itself. So as long as you run the Jetpack 5.0 and above, you can just run this command on your device after flashing the device's Jetpack, and it will uh, you will have a ready-to-go system with YOLO V8 installed so that you can uh, expand your YOLO V8 applications on the Jetson device. So this is a quick uh, overview of how it works. So you, when you execute this command, it will just uh, run on the terminal and uh, it will, so this is an example PPE, like uh, personal productive equipment demo uh, that uh, I'm showing here. So uh, as I mentioned before, we also have advanced usage wiki. So we uh, because we want to explain how the AI pipeline works from uh, the basics of uh, 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 grabbing the data set, labeling, training, and to deployment. So we explain all these uh, components of this workflow uh, in, in this detailed wiki. So you can explore this wiki today. 
and uh, try it out on your Jetson device. So what is TensorT? Because uh, we, we really want to utilize the, the entire uh, hardware resources on the Jetson. We want to unlock the entire performance of the Jetson. So for that, TensorT is a library provided by NVIDIA to improve the inference performance on uh, the NVIDIA powered GPU powered devices. So, uh, so you can use TensorT. So we have actually talked about this in this wikis, how to use that. So you can follow those wikis to use TensorT on those devices. And uh, with TensorT, what we have done is uh, we have done different benchmarks so that you can have a glimpse of how the models are performing on the device. So for example, how the FPS performance is on the device. So you can see like uh, we have the uh, XAV NX, we have the Orin NX and the AGX Orin. We have different FPS, FPS performance. And we can visit this blog to learn more about how this TensorT FPS uh, uh, performance have been done. And also uh, talking about DeepStream. So actually DeepStream is NVIDIA's uh, computer vision uh, multi-stream uh, uh, toolkit where you can easily create uh, multi-stream applications with uh, DeepStream. So DeepStream consists of uh, all, different, all different components such as this graph composer and Python bindings. So this graph composer is actually like a uh, UI style one no, low code platform where you can easily deploy these DeepStream applications to the uh, edge device such as the Jetson. And also it consists of all these uh, libraries as well. So using this DeepStream, as I mentioned, uh, DeepStream uh, allows for multi-stream uh, inferencing. So, so we have uh, invested a lot of time to do all these benchmarks so that users, uh, when they buy uh, the Jetson, uh, they can refer to these benchmarks and have a decision on how many cameras you can use with DeepStream together. So, uh, for, so at first, we, if we have used one model with multiple streams. So if you can see here, we have used the FP32, FP16, and also INT8 models. So INT8 performs the best uh, performance, uh, gives the best performance. And when it comes to INT8, you can see like you can use a lot of cameras, like more, even more than 20 cameras with a decent around like 10 FPS performance uh, with the INT8 model on the Orin NX 16 GB uh, device. So this is the one model and this is the multi-model. So, so we you, using DeepStream, you can also uh, use multiple AI models to run on multiple different streams. So when using multi-streams, the performance is a little bit low than single stream because uh, when doing the multi-models, the models take up a lot of RAM. So this is something that uh, is very important. So, so we can see that for the multi-model of uh, INT8 FP30, uh, FPS of Orin NX 16 GB, we can only have around 11, 11 cameras because we are limited by the RAM on the device, which is 16 gigs. Yeah. So, so uh, using this uh, uh, um, deep stream benchmarks, performance benchmarks, you can uh, clearly see how um, you can make the decision for the number of cameras. So now I will uh, quickly show you guys how to deploy YOLO models on the MCU. So because before we talked about the uh, NVIDIA Jetson platform, and now uh, we want to bring the YOLO models to the MCU platform as well. So this is the Seed Studio Shao ESP32 uh, S3 Sense, uh, which is based on the ESP32 S3 chip. So we, as you can see, it's a very small uh, device. Uh, so I, you can, I can show you uh, here. So it's just a thumb size, it's a thumb size device. It's a very small device. It's a 21 millimeter by 17.5 millimeter. And you can see all the specifications of this. So, so actually, we have uh, we have made this SenseCraft model assistant uh, platform uh, so that you can deploy these uh, Soda models in the most uh, efficient way and faster inference uh, with a fast inference performance. And uh, and also at the moment, so this particular Shao ESP32 S3 Sense is supported by. Uh, SenseCraft model assistant, and also the official ESP32 S3 is also supported. And uh, there could be, uh, so if you try on other ESP32 S3 boards as well, because there are so many ESP32 S3 uh, boards uh, in the market, so uh, they, they might work, but uh, these are the two boards that we have tested. 
So if you can uh, visit this uh, page to learn more about how we have uh, implemented this and all the guides on how to uh, use it. So uh, I have a quick demo here to show how uh, this uh, SenseCraft uh, uh, model assistant can be used. So I will quickly uh, connect this uh, device uh, to the computer like this through a Type-C cable. And then uh, I will open this uh, uh, URL. So I will visit this URL. So here we, you can see that, uh, so you have different options here. So yeah, so, uh, so first, so it's very easy to get started with this. So you, after you connect this one, you simply uh, need to select the device, which is the Xiaomi SP32 S3, and then click connect. And then you will see the device pop up here. So just click on it and connect. So now the device is connected. So now uh, we will use a model that is already comes with this platform. So there are pre-trained models already come with this platform. So we will use this face detection model and you need to simply click this button to send this model to the device. So now it's sending the model and now if I point this device to my face, you can see it's detecting my face. It's given confidence score as well. Yeah. And also at the same time, you can uh, add some triggers. Like uh, when you go to conditions, you can trigger like kind of uh, like the light because there's an LED on the device. So you can turn up the LED when uh, a face is detected. So you can uh, also um, um, do these uh, conditions. Yeah. And also there's this option to uh, upload custom models as well. So if you if you train your own model, you can bring your own model as well uh, to this platform. <clears throat> so I welcome to try out, uh, I welcome you guys to try out this uh, 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 SenseCraft web uh, model assistant with the TenseCraft, uh, SenseCraft web toolkit. Uh, to realize uh, exciting projects uh, with this MCU. That's my talk. Hope it is helpful to you for deploy any YOLO model to embedded devices. Welcome to check out our wikis, open source repositories, and all the products. So I also invite you to join our ecosystem if you are building next-gen AI products, and welcome to email us at hai at seed.cc. So if you need any technical support uh, for edge AI, Welcome to discuss with us anytime. Thank you very much. Wonderful stuff there from Lakshanka. Absolutely fascinating. And a demo of that fantastic little device. My goodness, how clever is this stuff? Absolutely brilliant. And I believe we're going to be uh, calling on the gods of tech to provide us with a live connection over to Lakshanka himself uh, for answering any questions. So if you have any questions about that brilliant presentation, get them lined up and we will beckon Lakshanka down from the cloud.